Hello guys, it's the holiday season and I know that a lot of people will be going on a date. Well, in this video, I have some tips, some makeover tips for you. Look like a goddess. This is going to show you how to look like a goddess for that date. Well, you're going to get some eyelashes. They're going to be pretty big. Get two sets. Okay, get two sets of these. Now what you're going to do is you want to be extra on everything because when you see goddess get dressed up, they are they go extra on everything. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to stick two together like this. Because you want it to be extra. You want to get this extra volume lashes. You want to be more than cut the girl. You know when they're brand new, they, they stick very easily. So I just stuck those two together. And I'm going to do the same thing for my other set. You get your glue, you apply it to the lashes. And you go for it. Mm -hmm. Once your lashes are on and intact, you can take your makeup and apply it. Whatever shade you use is fine. So you take and apply your make your your little face powder or foundation, whatever you have, you apply it to your face. When you're done, you take your eyeliner. If you have some big, thick black ones, they will help for this. When you think goddess, you're thinking about way back in the days, like ancient days and stuff. You're thinking pyramids and stuff like that. So I thought about this, you know, makeover, and I say, yeah. I'll make some some of this look like a pyramid. So for the eyebrows, what you want to do is you want to make a pyramid on top of your eyebrows here. You're just going to draw one like this. See that? Draw another one. See that? Next, I want to do two little lines. It will kind of look like a snake tongue, I guess, from the corner of my eye here. Once you get those little snake tongue going at the corner of your eye like that, you want to also make your lips really black. Get your lips nice and dark. And then next, you want to do your eyeshadows and make it very bright and flamboyant. I love greens and yellows and golds and stuff like that. Especially when you think about goddess, you're thinking gold and stuff like that. So I think I will put some gold in the crease of my eye right here well I need to do it in the mirror okay once you do the little snake tongue thing on the corner of your eye like that you want to fill it in with whatever color you want and then fill in the bottom of the bottom of your eye fill it in with a liner and fill the dark line in a little better so you are able to see it you want your eyeshadows to be whatever color you want i have green and gold here you really can't see it that well but it's there let's continue okay here i have a facial mask this is like real it says this is made of mud so this is better to use 
to put some markings on your face. So get a mask and then you just pour some, you just uh, squeeze some into your hand. Take um, something with a round bottom to use it to apply it to your face. You want to go up and around. To the very top of your pyramid there. You stop at the top of your pyramid. And if you want to fill it in more, you can just... Go over it for the second time. Going to do the other side. Isn't that a stunning look? Just like a goddess. Yep. I hope you have some big colorful hoop earrings. You put those in. Remember, goddess is big. If you want to look like a goddess, you have to make everything big and out there. To look like a goddess, you have to go overboard with everything. So you can go triple and quadruple on your necklace. Bright colors, neck necklaces, and everything. I got a yellow necklace there. I'm going to add a pink necklace. See that? And now I have this green one. So you have your big hoop earring, your triple necklaces, you have your pyramids going on top of your eyebrows, you double your eyelashes and put it on, you have your little snake tongue going, you fill it in with whatever color you want, and then you take your facial mask and use it to mark your face however you want. If you want this direct look, you got to do what I'm doing right here. So you see how this looks? Very beautiful. Okay, let's move on. Well, now that you have mask on both sides of your face, I suggest that you add some going from right beneath your nose towards the bottom of your chin, okay? Remember, being a goddess is makeup overboard, okay? So yes, for that full beautiful look, you take your mask and apply some dots going beneath your chin like that. So now, for the hair, what do you want to look like as a goddess? I feel like you need something very sassy. Remember big everything. You want big hair. Like if I didn't have this sewing right now, I will put a big curly fro looking weave cap on and then kind of position it how I want it. So there you go. I think the, the mohawk look pretty perfect for this. You know, open up the curls and there we go. So... This is how you look like a goddess for that date. When he shows up, you'll be like, Hi, Papi Chilo. I'm ready for this date. Papi Chilo. You see how? Mm -hmm. 
And then you want to do this. You want to wink those lashes. You have these very beautiful, you know, eyelashes going. You need to wink them when you're talking to him. Hi, Papi Chulo. I'm ready for this date. So, guys, if you want to look like a goddess for any other occasion, it doesn't have to be a date. Subscribe to my channel, okay? If you subscribe, I'm going to do more videos like of goddess tutorial, goddess makeup, goddess everything. So, if you want more videos, share this and subscribe to my channel. I also have a Facebook fan page, Faye Nelson. Okay, just look for Faye Nelson and you'll find me on Facebook. You'll find me by using Faye Nelson on YouTube. And you can find me on Instagram by typing Faye loves being Faye. Okay, thank you for watching this video. And I hope you enjoy your date with Papi Chulo.